Hey guys, Ada here. And today is day 41. I can't freaking believe that. 41 of Beach Bodies and Masters Hammer and Chisel Workout Series. I just finished Hammer Power, and if you've been following me, you know that this is one of my favorites. It will not piss you off, and it'll make you very strong. And the reason why I love it so much is because a lot of it is tailored to CrossFit-like moves. Now, that being said, it is a little bit more difficult if you've never done CrossFit. So if you're doing this workout, really listen to what he's saying. Make sure that you have a fist or an apple, as he says, under your chin, that it's not up so that you're not straining your back, that your back is straight and your shoulders are back, okay? Very, very important because in this workout, you're going to be doing uh, reps of 10 and then reps of 5 using heavy weights. So you need to make sure that when he says go light, that you really go light and you're just focusing on the form because I think that's the whole point of going light in this one. So that when he says go heavy, you have the correct form, you're not going to injure yourself. There's a lot of misconception with CrossFit, and I think it's all about to do with form and, and making sure that your posture and everything is correct. So this workout says it's 40 minutes long, but when you turn it on, it'll say it's about a little over 38. Um, if Once you do the cool down and the warm up and everything, it's probably more like mm, 34 minutes of, of lifting. And it's... The only complaint that I have about this workout is I have the Bowflex dial weights. I don't know if you're familiar with those, so I have to stick them back into the holster, switch the weights, then pick them back up. And sometimes I felt like there wasn't enough time in between the moves to do it, so switching from light to medium or light to heavy, I had to rush. Or I just paused it, did it real quick, and then press play. You can do that too. Really important that for these workouts that you are using some type of recovery formula because you're, you know, enhancing your muscles, right? You are creating more muscle mass. So you need to make sure that you're fueling that. You don't want to go in here and do a 40 minute workout of lifting and then not take care of your body so that you can keep what you just worked for, right? So that's how I think of it. You can use whatever kind of recovery you like. I have tried several. I use the Beachbody Recovery. So far, I really like that one. I don't plan on switching as of now. And then before this workout, I was feeling a little tired, and I think it's because I got up early and went and hiked, so I made sure to take a pre-fuel. I don't always do that, but I did this time, and I used the Annie e through Beachbody as well, which <clears throat> I like it because it doesn't make me feel like I'm on speed. <laughs> I hate that jittery feeling. So if you don't like that either, I highly suggest you give it a try. I think it's pretty cheap, like 15 bucks. Um, the recovery formula is about 80 bucks, which is pretty common for any type of protein supplement. <clears throat> I do use Shakeology every single day and <clears throat> I went years without using Shakeology and wasn't really big onto the shake kick. I thought it was all a bunch of fucking nonsense. And then when I wasn't getting the results that I wanted, I incorporated it not as a meal replacement, but as just like my multivitamin, extra multivitamin, and it really helped my fatigue. I had a lot of fatigue. I have PCOS. I don't know if you're familiar with that and hypothyroidism. So I struggle with my levels anyway, and it really helped. It's not a cure-all, but it helped me, which anything that helps me that isn't, you know, super processed, I will use it. So lots of rambling in this one. I feel freaking great. I can't believe it's day 41. I can't wait to do Body Beast. I am super excited. I did not like Soggy Kalev. He's the big bulk guy that's in here. I thought he was stupid and I didn't like him, to be quite frank with you. And now I love him. So if you're getting that bro mentality feeling, please, please give it a chance and just move past that because it is really, really a great program and it's, he knows what he's doing <laughs> and he's silly. So just stick with it. If you're new and you're thinking about doing this, anybody can do it. There are modified movements and just do your personal best and, and try not to compare yourself to everybody else, okay? Because that's just never any good. All right, well, I'm going to go. You can reach me, www.adabeasleyfitness.com or Gmail, which is ada.beasley at gmail.com. All right, guys, see you tomorrow. Bye.